Hello everybody, this is Steven Hayden, and we are going to go ahead and do all of our pickups videos. Uh, um, th it's been a while since this is going to be from November to now, which is February. So we'll just go ahead and do... Yeah, this is going to be till the end of the month. Uh, since it's almost the end of the month, we're just going to say that this is the end of the month. Really, because it's like the 21st out of 28 days. So, yeah. November to November 20, 2016 to February 2017. Wow, that's a long time. Like five months. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. For the original Xbox games, we got New York City. True Crime New York City, I'm sorry. And I really do think that that guy looks like Snoop Dogg. I I'm sorry, it does, though. I don't know what I do to get the. Um, I don't know what the light is. Oh, there it is. That doesn't look any better. Okay, but that's it's Snoop Dogg. It, it's it's Snoop Dogg. Let's just say it's Snoop Dogg. I'm gonna call him Snoop Dogg. <laughs> all right, and this is very disorganized how I have this all display, but whatever. I'm Ninja Gaiden, or oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ninja Gade. And no, no, it is Ninja Gaiden. I was gonna say, I'm sorry, Ninja Gaiden, but no, it's actually is Ninja Gaiden. I'm sorry. For our original Xbox, nothing really special to say about that. Tomb Raider Legend, Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend. Uh, graphics look fantastic for the time. And finally got the Le the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. Then for the GameCube, we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Only GameCube game I've picked up, really. I did try and pick up another one, which I did. But then inside it just had a crappy disc game, and I had already bought it. It was a crappy CD-ROM PC game. Like a baseball game for little kids. But it was going to be Mario Kart Double Dash, which I knew it was too good to be true to pick up like a $40 game for $2. At a thrift store. I, I was so fucking pissed off. Anyways, down to PS2. We got... Um... Ace Combat 4. Shattered Skies. Uh, I haven't played most of these games yet, but this looks like a pretty good game. Headhunter. Enough said. Person that hunts heads, I guess. <laughs> I guess he's a bounty hunter. Soul Calibur 2 for PlayStation 2. Soul Calibur is a really good franchise, so I figured I'd pick that one up. The Terminator, Dawn of Fate. Probably a terrible game, but it looks okay. It might be good. I don't know, it's made by Atari, so that's pretty good. Alright, over here we got our Xbox 360 games. The only three Xbox 360 games I picked up uh, around the same time from each other. We got Borderlands for Xbox 360. It's an awesome game. I'm already almost beat it and I got it like two months ago. I know that's not... Maybe a month and a half ago. I know that that's not a huge accomplishment to get a game and beat it in two months. But, you know, it's an accomplishment for me. Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, I'm surprised my parents even let me got this. Considering I am 15 turning 16 next month. So yeah, Knight's Contract, though I do know that seven year olds that play that game, so, Knight's Contract, it's an okay game, it's an okay game, I, I, I'll give that, it's an okay game, we got a TurboGrafx-16 game called Taking It to the Hoop, obviously that's a basketball game, and it was eight bucks at V-Stock, so that's a pretty good deal for what it is, it's a, kind of a rare system what it's for, so, yeah. Alright, now to N64 games. We got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, exactly. Nice round number. 10 games for N64. Alright, let's get started. We got Super Mario 64. Oh boy, yep. Finally got that game. Awesome game. Rainbow Six. Haven't played that one yet, but I, I, it's a Rainbow Six game, which Rainbow Six games are usually pretty cool. Turok 2. Uh, Seeds of Evil, if you can see that. I'm sorry, the camera's not really focusing. 
So, but yeah, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Turok's a pretty good game, so. Wayne Gretzky's 98, or Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98, that's one hell of a title. Um, but yeah, that's it. I heard it was a pretty good hockey game. Banjo Kazooie. Enough said. That, that is actually a, a really good game. GoldenEye 007. Ha ha ha. Got that game. Uh, everybody that I say, uh, like, hey, so hey, what's your favorite game on, like, what's your favorite game of all time? Or, like, on the Nintendo 64. And they're like, GoldenEye. Big time. Like, most of my teachers, most of the adults that I know, like my mom, um, my first hour teacher says, oh my god, GoldenEye. Gotta get GoldenEye. I'm like, alright, well, I finally got it now. Pretend I'm wanting to bring it to class, but I'm not sure if I can. Uh, they got a Game Shark for Nintendo 64. Yep, you can finally cheat now at Nintendo 64 games. MRC, that stands for. You can't really see it, but it's right there. It's Multi Racing Championship. This is a little distorted, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I know why. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then we got Pilot Wing 64. That's a great cover art, isn't it? Yeah, I love that cover art right there. Just a fucking label. Okay. Well, whatever. It was probably a... Probably a... Um, bootleg or something. Uh, Quake 2. Um, Quake is an awesome game. I just need to get Quake 3 Arena for Dreamcast and then I'll be all set. Um, move on over here. We got my only Sega CD game so far. Well, no, this would be my second Sega CD game, but my only Sega CD pickup so far, right now, is Jurassic Park. Then over here, we got the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Dark Duel Stories. I haven't really played a whole lot of it, but it looked pretty cool. And another Game Boy Color game. Excuse to get a Game Boy Color game. And this would be my second Game Boy Color game. And this would be like my, I don't know, my ninth or eighth Game Boy game. Would be Kirby's Dreamland for Game Boy. Both are pretty good games, I guess. I'm not sure about Yu-Gi-Oh, but, but I was a big fan of watching the show back in the day. So, um, back in the day, I'm only 16. I'm I'm getting ready to be 16, so that back in the day doesn't mean much right now. But anyways, over here we got my PS1 games. We got Resident Evil Director's Cut, Chrono Cross, Disc 1 and Disc 2, Namco Museum of uh, Volume 1, and Colony Wars Vengeance. Biggest pickup probably for PS1 is probably the Colony Wars Vengeance one. Uh, and I got something else for it to show you. Just specifically having that game in mind. Is it incompatible with it? Hopefully it is. I hope so. I really do hope so. Alright, Super Nintendo. We got Super Star Wars. Um, yep. Super Star Wars. Awesome game. Really hard, but awesome. I picked this one up the on s yesterday, actually. Baseball 2000. It's a first-person shooter. And you kind of... Well, I guess emojis weren't really created yet. But you would pick up these... Oh, wait, I gotta end this. I'll be right back with a second. Sorry, guys, I had to get fresh batteries in my camera. Um... Where were we? Baseball 2000. It's like shooting... This game's like shooting... I guess emojis, like I said before, emojis were not created yet, but you you shoot these like have a nice day kind of uh, faces, and whenever you shoot them, uh, well, I I I suppose they die, but um, yeah, whenever you die, it says have a nice day, <laughs> which I think is quite. It reminds me of Spaceballs when the when the when the spaceship uh, when their spaceship uh, blows up, they're like. Three, two, one, have a nice day. And they're like, thank you. And then it blows up. Anyway, yeah. Had to bring you back to that stupid movie. But that's an awesome movie. Come on, you gotta agree. Spaceballs is an awesome movie. 
awesome parody of Star Wars. It's been worse. There's Super Star Wars right there. Anyway, we already said something about that. But yeah, this is pretty good. It's a first person shooter too, as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait. <coughs> Sorry. And also, it was on Game Boy, and it was a first person shooter too on that port as well, which I have to say is amazing. I wish I had that version, but I don't. Alright, then we got Wing Commander. Enough said, right? That's that's an awesome game. I haven't played it yet, but I it's a pretty good game. Heard good stuff about it. Populous. Uh, it's like a god game. Nothing much to it. I guess it's kind of like SimCity. Only, I guess, with a storyline. More of a storyline. Vortex. Don't really know a thing about it. Not a damn thing about it, but we'll find out soon enough. Final Fight. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah. Final Fight. I thought this said Shenmue at first when I got it, but I didn't pay attention to it. And it said Shanghai. Dragon's Eye. And it's just a stupid board game kind of, kind of like dice domino kind of game. So, yeah, I'll be returning that sometime. <laughs> oh, okay. So, A Legend of Zelda. Link to the Past. Finally got this one. I know that this is like something you need to get day one for Super Nintendo, but it's like day 724 for me. So, whatever. Don't judge me. Alright, and then over here we got these um, the, the flight simulator controllers for um, the PS1. That's what I'm hoping that this is compatible with. Because it is a flying game in space in space and stuff. So yeah, hopefully it works with it. Alright, down over here, before we get to the systems, we got, I got a shitload of fucking Genesis games. I got even more than what's shown right now. But, um, I got like 44 total uh, Genesis games just in one trade. I traded this guy, um, a PS2 Slim for, for it, and, um, yeah, he gave me 44 Genesis games in return. Oh my god, I can't, and like I said, this isn't all of them, this are just the more recognizable ones. So yeah, let's go ahead and start, we're just going to scroll through them right, real quick. Gargoyles, Jurassic Park, Lethal Enforcers, Quackshot, Tiny Toon Adventures, Ren and Stimpy, Echo the Dolphin, uh, Streets of Rage, this is Fantasy Star 2, Ghouls and Ghosts, Rambo 3, good god, Toy Story, wasn't really what I was expecting for it to be, Primal Rage, Revenge of Cernobi, Lion King, that's a really good game, uh, Virtual Fighter 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, oh, 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 Golden Axe, ha ha ha, love that game, I played it all when I was little for the Dreamcast, um, uh, Brutal, Brutal, um, what's it called, Brutal, Paws of Fury, it's like a Mortal Kombat kind of animal kind of game, Taz main, Taz and Rescape from Mars, Sonic Spinball, Miss Pac-Man, Shining in the Darkness, uh, The Adventures of Mighty Max. Uh, this is one I didn't get in the trade. Um, it's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. NHL 94, Road Rash 2, and then here's another one. It might only complete in box on a game. That I did not get in the trade was Zero Tolerance. It's a pretty good game. Complete in box, meaning it has a manual, the box, obviously, and obviously the cartridge. Alright, now to top this video off, let's go through the one, two, three, four, five systems that I got over that five months. Was the Odyssey 2. Got that for like 25 bucks plus 10 games. So yeah, uh, 
10 games were obviously not shown, but whatever. I just didn't have much room on my food time to show you. Um, another Nintendo 64. This one's actually working and everything. The last one broke because I had a whole bunch of roaches inside of it. When I cleaned it out, it was nasty as fuck. Um, PS2 Fat Edition. That's why I was able to trade the other one for it. Otherwise, would I have done it? Probably. Would it have been a smart choice? Probably not. Anyways. Uh, another Atari 2600. This one's a light sixer or a heavy sixer. I do not know. I cannot distinguish the both the two of them right now. And then we have a boxed. Well, it's not inside this box right now because it's already in my game room. Uh, my game room being right behind me. Uh, this is the Retro Entertainment System. It plays NES games because both my other NESs are broken. Um, so yeah. But yep, this is the box and everything. So yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, all this. And I will see you guys later. Peace.